Circle Concern has been looking for land like this for almost 10 years. This is the first land that we've had a chance to buy. We've tried several times. It's perfect. It's inside all this area where all these people are. It's close to some schools. Uh, we can park under these power lines uh, free. It's federal land. We're going to put it in a community center. And it's, we're going to teach English. We're going to teach computer. We're going to hold Bible studies, church services here. It'll be a multi-purpose building. What we've been trying to do is find an area where we can plant a church. Uh, this area is less than 1% evangelical Christian and it's growing and people are coming from several different parts of Mexico to build the hotels and the condos and all this tremendous boom of real estate and we want to plant a church here for everybody, <laughs> for uh, anybody and everybody who would come. All these precious kids that you see in the background, I mean there's thousands of them and uh, what a tremendous opportunity to share Christ and make disciples. We are partnering with uh, La Fuente Church. They're good friends of ours. They've been helping us for several years on our outreach programs twice a year in Nayarit. They do all the child evangelism, all the worship, because they're all bilingual or all Mexicans. Our heart has been uh, evangelizing through church planting. And uh, it's really been a, a really good mix with our ministry because they come with a lot of resources that we don't have. Um, just, you know, having these t-shirts and the medicines and, and, the, and the medical people come. And then we come with our evangelistic teams, our youth from our church, and uh, they do a bang up job. And together, between our translators and the people that do the child evangelism and all the other things, it just makes a wonderful team effort. We've had a lot of help from the churches in the United States. They've partnered with us and come down here. And it's just a great team. So it's a chance for us to keep coming to the same place We've been here about 23 times. This particular time we're trying to build a reputation for La Fuente in Topeak because the church will be in the name of their civil association. Their pastors will be the staff and we'll just partner with them but they'll be here 24-7 24, 24 helping people all the time. Uh, the need is here. There's a great need for church. There's a great need for mercy ministry. Uh, there's just, I mean, there's thousands of people coming here and it's just not Mexicans. There's people coming from the States, Canada, uh, South America. Uh, I've, I've met a lot of people from Chile, from Argentina, working in the hotels. So this is a kind of like a, a just a great opportunity to do something kind of international, but we really want to focus in on reaching the Mexicans. Uh, we went over there and, uh, and uh, we're looking at the lot and, and uh, we all held hands in a circle and Pastor Keith was praying and he was praying in English. And as we were standing there, this little boy rode up on a bicycle. It says, hola. And I just instinctually just, Bruce and I, I believe we're holding hands and we both just sort of broke. And this boy just jumped in the circle and grabbed both our hands. I, I was thinking to myself, I was thinking, gosh, I don't think he understands English. I wish we were praying in Spanish. And I also thought to myself, this is a sign. This is a confirmation from God that this is his ground and this community center is supposed to be built. And as soon as Keith stopped praying, Pastor George says, let's pray in Spanish for the boy, you know, so he would understand. And George said, I believe this is a sign. Well, well the truth of the matter is we're coming here and it's really just, we're, we're going in a way just with a word because God never gives you the whole picture. He never does. He just says, do this. So that's exactly the point we're at. We're just saying, God told us, we want, He wants us to go to Bucerias. So we were saying, okay, we're going to Bucerias. If you've got a skill, even to carry sand or cement or mix cement or carry block, you really don't even need a skill, but we'd love to have block layers, cement finishers, electricians, plumbers, carpenters, roofers, uh, it would be awesome to have you air conditioning people, but you don't have to have a skill. Just come and help us and also help us to raise the money. Take this message back to your church, your Bible study, uh, your group, and uh, every little bit will help. I believe the Lord's presence was there at the lot, and I believe that he directed the acquisition of that lot. And I would hope and pray personally on a personal level that God would bless me financially, Robin and I, and maybe we could contribute, 
we've had uh, about three real tough, lean years, and I believe it's about to turn around, and I just hope and pray that we can be part of it. We have had a vision for years for this church, this community center, and this property. And won't you partner with us? Won't you join us? All you have to do is communicate with us, and we'll show you how you can get involved. Will you?